Oh, he loves his rallies. The next time he holds one, look closely. Trump keeps his distance from anyone in the rally. The folks who come are packed in tight as they can be. He's mostly without masks, but not Trump. He safely keeps his distance. As a reporter, they showed a, a couple days ago, a reporter trying to come up, or someone come up to talk, he said, no, no, you got to keep your distance. I don't get close to these people. He's willing to let everybody else in the crowd risk their lives, but not him. And now we know what he really thinks of the people who come to his rallies from someone who saw it up close and wrote about it up close in the White House. The former employee said he calls his own supporters, quote, disgusting. He said, one of the benefits of this pandemic is he doesn't have to shake their hands. He doesn't have to shake their hands. That's a good thing about the pandemic. For Trump, these rallies are about entertainment, adoration, and not respect. But you don't kid yourself. This is a one-way street. Of all the things that Trump has said and done, nothing is more offensive than the way he's spoken about many of you and the brave women and men who served in the nation in uniform, those who have given their lives in service to this nation. It's been confirmed by every outlet that he referred to them as losers and suckers. That's what Trump calls those who served and made the ultimate sacrifice. Let me tell you something. My son, Bo, served and volunteered to go to Iraq for a year, won the Bronze Star, came home decorated, came home with stage four glioblastoma and died of cancer. He wasn't a loser. He wasn't a sucker. He was a patriot. And all those people with whom he served, volunteered, were patriots as well. Just like your sons and daughters and many of you, your moms and dads. Frankly, I've dealt with guys like Trump my whole life. Guys from the neighborhood I come from who look down on us because we didn't have a lot of money. Or your parents didn't go to college. Guys who think they're better than you. Guys who inherit everything they've ever gotten in their life and squander it. Guys who stretch and squeeze and stiff electricians and plumbers and contractors working on their hotels and casinos and golf courses just to put a few more bucks in their pocket. Guys who do everything they can to avoid paying their taxes they owe because they figure the rest of us, the little people, we can pick up the tab for the country. Do you have any doubt that the reason we haven't seen Trump's tax returns is because they want to know what he paid? They've only seen four Trump tax returns in the last 45 years. And I don't think there's been any in the last, ever since he's been running for president. He had to turn some of them over to start a casino in New Jersey. He had to show his taxes. And they showed that he paid zero. And he talked about the billion dollars. He paid zero, nothing. That's a fact. And when he was asked about it, you know what he said? This is why I really don't like guys like this in my neighborhood. He said, it makes me smart. Or another way, I'm not a sucker. Why should I pay when I can figure my way out? Zero.